This old tree is on the bank of Ashland Creek and I find the gnarly roots just intriguing. So I started off with a uh, pencil drawing. It's a number two pencil and then use a micron uh, number zero one pen. And I wanted to capture this kind of the spontaneity of a nice drawing. I thought it would capture this gnarly, rugged look. Then we go in with some watercolor. I'm trying to stay with a, a nice neutral palette, actually grays. Again, trying to get the ancient feel of this. And like with most watercolors I, and with my oil painting, I started off with establishing the deepest dark areas. We would call them shadows, but they're not always in the shadow area, but there are some mostly in the deepest, darkest area. This, this old tree was picking up a nice little light. And it's covered with moss. The water level was a little bit low when I was doing this painting. It usually is, especially during the spring, uh, deep in water. So it's always wet and, and creates this great coating of beautiful emerald green moss. Now after all the washes that I did, I wanted to reestablish that uh, kind of the spontaneous and graphic look of a pen. Now I'm putting in some of the little bushes and the rocks and all that, give the rest of the area a little context. And also again, just trying to add some of the uh, kind of the quick strokes that make it seem kind of spontaneous. Now I'm bringing in some white gouache just to pick up some of the light, lights. And then I wanted to push back the background just a little bit and give it a little bit more of a blue so that some of the warmer colors in the, in the trunk of the tree would show up and would also pop the, the yellows and greens that came in for the moss. Now I'm getting the gouache really bringing up those highlights, creating a greater contrast. Again, just kind of reinforcing that drawing. And that's, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment or subscribe. Thanks.